Can you express numbers using expanded notation? Given an expanded notation, can you write numbers using standard form? We are used to seeing numbers a certain way, like 423 or 7,659,423. These numbers are written in standard form. A great way to see place value in action and to develop strong number sense is to expand some actual numbers. When we do this, we write numbers in something called expanded form. For example, we can expand 423 to be 400 and 20 and 3. Because the 4 is in the hundreds place, it means 400. Because the 2 is in the tens place, it's worth two tens or 20. Because the 3 is in the ones place, it is simply 3. So 423 in expanded form is a combination of those pieces and looks like this. 400 plus 20 plus 3. Let's try writing a larger number in expanded form. To do this, you need to understand place value. Do you know the value of the 7? It is in the millions place. How do we know? The first period is the units period. The next period is the thousands period. The 7 is in the millions period. Since it's the smallest place in the millions period, it's in the 1 millions place. To expand the 7, we need to write 7 million. How many zeros do we add to the 7? Count the places to the right of the 7. That will tell how many zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I need to write a 7 with 6 zeros on the end. Next, I add the 6, followed by 5 zeros. It is worth 600,000. Then I continue this pattern with 50,000, 9,000, 400, 20, and 3. Remember, this is standard form, and this is expanded form. Expanded form can also be done using multiplication. Take a look at our two numbers, starting with 423. The 4 in 423 is in the hundreds place, so we write 4 times 100, like 4 groups of 100. The 2 is in the tens place, so we write 2 times, or 2 groups, of 10. We can add that to our expanded form. The 3 is in the 1's place, so we add 3 times 1. This completes the expansion of 423. Remember, times simply means groups of, so this works really well. What about our larger number? We start with 7 times something. The 7 is in the millions place, so it is 7 times, or groups, of 1 million. Remember how we added 6 zeros, one for each place after the 7 when we expanded using addition? The same six zeros can be used here. Pause the video and try to finish writing the expanded form of our number. Then start the video again to check your answer. Does your answer look like this? Two friends are disagreeing about the standard form for 7,000 plus 40 plus 2. Sue says it's 742, and Miwa says it's 7,042. Who is correct? Look for the largest place value. It is 7,000. This tells us that our number in standard form will have four digits. The 7 goes in the thousands place. The 4 goes in the tens place. The 2 goes in the ones place. We need to fill in a zero in the hundreds place, as there are no hundreds. As you can see, Miwa is correct. Zeros are tricky. If there is a zero in the number, it is a placeholder. In expanded form, we don't have to write the zero. But when you write the actual number, the zero is very important. It means something. To expand 5,607, we can simply add 5,000 plus 600 plus 7, or multiply 5 times 1,000 plus 6 times 100 plus 7 times 1. When writing the standard form for something that has been expanded, we have to be careful. The largest number in the expanded form has four digits, so we know we need four digits. Now we need to look carefully at the place value. The five is in the thousands place. The six is in the hundreds place. The seven is in the ones place. The tens place is empty. We need to hold the tens place with the zero, otherwise our number would read 567. We need it to read 5,607. The practice questions for this section will help you practice so you get used to the value of place value through standard and expanded form. Thank you for watching this tutorial.